I have always understood the double bass mostly as voice rather than a rhythm instrument. Rhythm is only a side of the music. In its wholeness, music must sing. The idea of ennobling the double bass by playing music of high artistic importance began to flash into my mind once I felt this idea turning into a kind of a indispensable medium. This idea shaped better when my attention focused on the music for cello, which is an outstandingly beautiful repertoire and is the most similar instrument to the double bass, even though with some important differences, especially for what concerns sides and tuning. I had asked myself an absolute condition to face the cello works chosen without lowering the original octave, that is to play at the original cello pitch. I was not interested in making a transcription or even worse, an arrangement. I think that this special work of mine actually has nothing to do with the transcription understood in its natural meaning. Playing an original work for cello on the double bass in these terms means to increase the difficulties very much. Difficulties coming from a writing conceived for the cello, which has an innately higher agility and a more perfect sound emission. Without a dub, I could say superior. Music is an incredibly powerful language, but it keeps this power only when it comes from heart. The mere mechanical gesture counts very little to me. It's the most wrong way to approach music. The orchestral environment tends to admit only one way to play, and for being accepted in it, one must give up to a huge part of your own personality and ideas. All this set the freedom to zero. This does not absolutely mean having no discipline or not to comply to a sort of professional ethic. I would never have chosen an instrument to play music if this uh, would have meant putting limits to the freedom of artistical expression. Music itself has no barriers, either making it or hearing it. 
the orchestra this time thought as a type of musical ensemble and not as a human aggregate. Not for a limit of its own, confines the double bass into a role which is very important on a mostly rhythmical aspect, passing by almost totally, but I would say totally, on those features and capabilities which count more for me instead and which are not required in orchestra. Anyway, I rushed headlong into a formidable challenge, but my enthusiasm and my lonely certainty that all this was doable made me face things with a natural and productive attitude. Releasing a solo album centered on my musical and instrumental view has been for me a big dream come true. That included then Chopin's cello sonata, who I don't deny to consider my biggest musical hero, made the dream a huge one since this also meant having found a link between Chopin's music and my playing. As it's very well known, Chopin devoted all his life to his instrument only, the piano. And this, in case of a very eminent figure in the history of music like Chopin, is an extraordinary feature, putting him under a very special light. A ray of this light reach his cello sonata, a one-of-a-kind work in the whole Chopin's output. It's the only work of a certain consistency, um, requiring the presence of another instrument in addition to the piano, a pure masterwork of his late years.
La registrazione del disco di Orazio Ferrari e Marco Sanna è stata un'esperienza senza dubbio artisticamente e umanamente molto interessante. La registrazione è avvenuta all'interno dei nostri studi di Preganziol, gli Area Magister Studios, ovvero una struttura dotata di una grande sala di ripresa la cui acustica è assolutamente assimilabile a quella di un media auditorium. Questo ha consentito lo sviluppo di un suono di grande qualità, ha fatto sì che ancora una volta Velut Luna portasse alla pubblicazione un progetto di altissimo profilo. Il disco è stato pubblicato nell'estate nell del 2014, la qualità del progetto evidentemente artistica e tecnica ha fatto sì che nella prima settimana di eh, proposta, di vendita del progetto stesso, si eh, insediasse stabilmente nella top 10 delle vendite. One of the most exciting aspects of this path I started to ride was represented by the fact that I would have also had the chance to interact with a very beautiful piano part in a repertoire in which the interplay has a fundamental role. The piano is the instrument through which I discovered music when I was a child and I have always kept this passion for piano music very alive. Sometimes when I have to choose a new piece to play, the beauty and the importance of the piano part has a crucial role for my final choice. Um, I think in a duo with the piano, the pianist has a determinant role. It's a never secondary, even when to the piano is demanded a simple accompaniment part. Perhaps simple, sometimes from a technical point of view, but never musical. I have find this solidity of role in Marco's playing. in Sweden a couple of years ago during a festival where he was supposed to play Chopin cello sonata uh, but I was asked to replace his pianist who cancelled suddenly so I accepted soon even though the challenge looked quite quite hard first because the piece is very demanding uh, for the pianist but most of all because I had no idea whether the performance would work with a double bass I have to admit that in spite of my doubtfulness, we match very, very well from the beginning. And after only two days of rehearsals, uh, we went up on stage for the concert and it was incredible. Very, very, very good. Thank you.
by using exclusively the natural double bass tuning, the so-called orchestral tuning. This tuning is the only one let me understand what the instrument can really give me in terms of sound, color and especially in terms of resonance with its original and natural voice, with all its pros and cons. Using a trick like an higher tuning to make easier playing in the higher register as well, the obtaining of a more reactive sonority means only to denaturalize the double bass, which would sound with a, a maybe powerful but for sure a more poor and ordinary tone. On the contrary, as I told, its natural tuning helped me to get the right sound or in any case the sound which is the best for me, that it's the most important thing at the end. Every artist needs to please himself for first. I've always been amazed from Horatio's capability to get uh, such a focus, well focused and singing sound from the double bass, which is not an easy, easy instrument to handle. I don't think so. <laughs> Sometimes when we practice together, of course, we have different opinions, but at the very end, we have the same understanding, or a very similar understanding of the music, so that our interpretations are convincing and organic. Um, playing big works like Chopin or Rachmaninoff Cello Sonata with a double bass is a big challenge uh, which implies many technical problems. Uh, but I have to say I don't have to give up to anything uh, in my playing, neither for what concerns the, the text, the score, nor for uh, what concerns my playing itself uh, and I can say the same about the, the sound, our sound balance because Horatio has a huge sound, is amazing sound and he never forced me, never asked me to give less so we try to work carefully to find the best sound balance so that no one of us uh, needs to limit the expression of the other. So, double bass as voice. What else better than a lyric piece can make this idea at its best? Mm -hmm.